Tell me it's not true. It's not true. Okay, liar. Five. Hey, so I was talking to my friend Steve Seamus again, the president, and uh, I was asking him the difference between cosplay and LARPing. Okay. Even though you told me, uh -huh. I had to confirm. Okay. And you guys were right. Well, it's very important. It's important. Because Johnny Five, you're not just a LARPer; you're a cosplayer. You, you're, you're. It's. I know there's a difference, but you're both, aren't you? You don't LARP. I thought you LARPed. <laughs> Nick says you LARP. <laughs> this is too much fun. LARPer. Hey, Mikey, at 7 o'clock, I'd like to do a Guess That Gum okay. for a 1967 top separate spot. Yeah, I had an idea about that. What do you think of this? Talk to me, Goose. So what if we do this? Because, you know, what's happening now, this is going to be a group, like, thing here, right? This would be like a... Group fang? Well, what I mean to say is this yeah, is more like a... Your own time, buddy. Yeah. <clears throat> this is more like a, um, like a, 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 uh, a group effort. Sure. Yeah, yeah. A little better. So... Unfortunately, people are being are able to now uh, more easily because we're running out of gum to, to tell what gum mm -hmm. we're showing sure. more quickly. Mm -hmm. What if we made Sam or John actually chew the gum first and then show the chewed gum and say, "What year is this?" That's going to have to be on a different show. <laughs> <laughs> I, like that. I do not volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to we'll All right. figure something out. I'll figure it out. Right. So 55 or 40 just sold out. Great. Guys, uh, let me know what you think about that. Just kidding. All right, here's the 93. SP. What if we did that with Nick over the weekend? He'd do that. Nicky V's coming? Nick V will be there Saturday. Right. He's got gifts for us. What time is he going to be there on Saturday? Nick, Saturday. what time are you going to be there on Saturday? He's in the afternoon. He I'll said he's going to bring his Floby on Saturday for John. I think people who LARP like Flobies. Well, yeah. <laughs> John said he doesn't LARP, but Nick said he does, so I'm not sure who to believe anymore. All right, here we go. Angus even heard you LARP, J5. Well, I'm not sure I would consider Angus a reliable source for anything LARPing. You know? All right, card one. Juan Gonzalez. Unfortunately, there's no cheater here. Yes, John, that's the rumor. Spot two, Andy Van Slump. Carlos Delgado. I don't remember ever pulling one. Too bad this is not a Jeter. Wow. So, <clears throat> Leighton, take a look at this. Forget this is Delgado. Sure. If this was Jeter, what would you say? First of all, this card is good. A Delgado is good in high grade anyway. Yeah. What would you say? Oh, it's definitely a nine. Imagine if that was a Jeter. Just a this would be a dead nuts nine. Yeah, which would be like two thousand nine. I'd still grade this card. I bet you it's decent nine. Carlos. I have a chipper nine in my collection. Yes. Hey. Chris Hoyles. Yeah. Look who's back. Hey. Are the Yankees uh, still under rain delay? Um, I know they won the first game. So apparently Sasquatches are LAR LARPers. Oh, Sam Squatch. Oh. You coming? Yeah. You're just packing up. You're helping them pack. Nice. Well, good to see you, Doug. How's your car? Okay. Phil Plantier. Walter Weiss. We got here Bob Tewksbury. Remember Bob Tewksbury? Yankee. Yeah. God, we've come a long way from the Bob Tewksbury days. Well, he was a good pitcher. 1992, 16-5, 2.16. Bob Tewksbury. Yeah, I heard Leighton, Leighton uh, those hot dogs weren't necessarily the greatest. Nick, I'm sorry. Um, however, if you do bring some of those peppers for J5 or for Sam... I thought Nick grows peppers too. Oh, so they both, they both grow peppers. 
Yeah, sorry, you're too busy LARPing, you didn't realize. Thanks, Eric. LARPer. Alright, here's Gary D. Sarcina. And then the last card, again, for Chad in this uh, 93 SP pack with no Jeter, unfortunately. So anticlimactic otherwise. Paul Sorrento. Got some pulls here from the uh, the mystery box. Again, $50 gets you a pull. There are seven prizes. None yet have been picked. 